What's up guys, Ugly Strew here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Eve Eternity. We are moving on to part three of Map 32 in Ignorasis. This video may be a bit shorter than I thought it would be, uh, depending on how many tries the final encounter is going to take me. <laughs> and if all goes well, I should be able to get 100% kills in the map, which is something I was initially worried about. So, not much else to say here, so let's go ahead and continue. First thing I like to do is if we hit the switch hit this switch here that'll raise the bridge to the final area we still have a lot of things to do so I'm gonna hold off there so I'm gonna wake everything up here and we'll take this elevator back up to the top now if we come down here and come to the right we can get to killing stuff It's at this point in the map that you want to start conserving ammo. Because even though there should be a lot of it around still, um, there's still too much to kill, and we are like getting near the end of the map. We don't want to go crazy backtracking, and we've already killed a lot of shit. So, honestly, there might not be too many ammo packs laying around. Archvile there. And come back up here. And this is how this is all connected. If we take this elevator down... This connects back down here, um, where we were starting off the green room, essentially. We straight front across here. This is one of the ramps where um, we, ro we woke up the demons from down below in that lava pit. Meanwhile, you will be getting sniped at from imps across the way, so do be careful. I didn't wake up the mancubi? That's interesting. Oh shit, if I knew that, I would have stayed down here and danced with them. Be all of the pinkies. We can hit this switch here. Be a bunch of zombie men down there. Sort of like parallel to the last room. We two revenants in here. Really, really easy to kill. so much protection there with that pillar however if you hit this switch that will raise the pillar and then we can come across here grab the bfg and there will be an annihilator Ow. i'm getting better at fighting those things <laughs> okay and if we come down here it's very easy to miss that area but there are three shotgunners in there so Make sure you get them. Like I said, it's super, super easy to miss them. And then we have to backtrack back to the pink room to take on the final encounter. We do have a couple things we want to do before that, though. I'm trying to think of the easiest way back. Because I want to grab... There's a Mega Armor and a Soul Sphere still in the red key area. Which I believe we have access to from here somewhere. Yes, we do. There's so much health and armor still on the map. We don't have to worry about it too much. And then now with this, we can get back to the start. I should not have jumped down there because I can't remember how to get back now. Here we go. Do I still don't understand the red key area? I just run around and look for things that look familiar. I also don't know if there's a quicker way back to the pink room. I'm sure there is. I think we could jump down into that lava pit and then take that staircase up to the top, run across that cliff there, and then we'll be right on the other side of that. See, I'm learning, I'm learning. Ow. Really don't want to get hit here because I need every little bit of health I can get. want him to infight with them. It looks like I got one of them angry, so. Alright, and that's that there. Let me fill up on everything. And then let's see if we can do this. So what we'll do is we hit the switch, 
we drop down here, immediately come to this staircase here, grab all the rockets you possibly can, hit that switch, get the fuck out of here, come across this way, take the right, come to the orange spiraled staircase. All the way down here. Take this elevator to the top. This always takes me a few tries, which is why I think Yukiro coded this elevator uh, as quick as he did. There we go. And now I'm going to save here because we don't really need the invulnerability for this part, but it's definitely good to have. Okay, we'll grab him there. And now that will wake up all the Cacodemons and the Lost Soul Army. You will see. When I say Lost Soul Army, <laughs> there's a lot of Lost Souls. Probably wasted too much time going up and grabbing those cells in Plasma Rifle. Because, like, every second with this invulnerability artifact helps. Like I said, it's not necessary, but it helps you clear this out a lot quicker. And now, it doesn't really matter how much damage you take here, because we are going to grab a Megasphere after this. And there's also a Soul Sphere down there. However, you don't want to die. <laughs> and Lost Souls plus a Rocket Launcher make that very easy. This part probably just requires patience. It's the best, uh, best strat here. pretty low on rockets, so I'm going to hold off. We only have one more secret left, and about 250 things to kill. So, like I said, we should be able to get this done pretty quick. Okay. So it looks like we killed everything, but because Lost Souls can be a little stealthy... I want to be on the safe side. I could have swore I saw an imp fireball come in here. And I don't know where the hell there could possibly be an imp right now. But let's see if a lost soul will come to us. Maybe we did kill them all. That like never happens. There's usually one straggler laying around somewhere. Cool. All right, we'll take that. We can grab that, and now we can head back to the green room. We could definitely do that earlier, but it's just kind of a pain in the ass. I like to save it for last, and because of like the amount of lost souls and how much ammo it may take to kill them, um, I don't know. I think it's just better to take that late. It's not efficient from a, a time perspective, but. We can... no, because we can't get there from there. I don't think we can straight from that well. <laughs> That's a little bit better. Alright. And I hope we killed everything in that main, main building. If not, we're going to find ourselves doing more backtracking. Run up this. I thought this was, like, epic. This little, like, monolith here. Of switches. And then we can hit that. And then we can come in here and start this trek. This is probably one of the more annoying parts in the map. I don't think it's as annoying as that ledge walking, but there's so many former captains. Okay. Ow. And not a lot of cover from them. Because they are kind of everywhere. And they are the first threat, however my rocket launcher thinks otherwise. <laughs> and once again, it's okay to take a bunch of damage here. You don't want to die though, and I am pretty fucking close to that. Shit, 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 shit. I might want to go grab that Megasphere now. 
Yeah, there's one more secret here, and it's a it's a mega sphere. Fuck it, I'm gonna grab it now because I don't want to risk dying. I took a lot more damage there than I thought I would. Jesus Christ. The problem too is that the fucking my chain gun won't lock onto this asshole. Especially because there's freaking bullets coming from down there too. What we need to do is if we come around here. Follow this trail all the way up. God, I took so much fucking damage there. I was full coming into this room. That's wild. Oh, come the fuck on. Where the fuck am I going? damage. This part kind of just requires a lot of focus. I apologize for the lack of dialogue here, but this is... I'm having so much more difficulty with this right now. I think it's because I'm trying to multitask. Fuck you, former captains. You know what? We're gonna go kill everything and we'll backtrack. There's gonna be a former captain hiding in some little alcove somewhere down there. I don't exactly remember where he is, but I can't even think right now because I'm just worried about not taking a fuck ton of damage. Okay. Yeah, I know that if we come around somewhere and it's a monster I always forget about. There we go, it's over here. Very, very easy to forget about him because there's no purpose to come up here unless you're going for that berserk pack. Oh, right. The way the um, traversing works in this. Hold on. Nani? Oh, right. Let me straight front across there, straight front across there, straight front across there. Come up here, straight front across there, straight front across there. Fall. <laughs> and then do it all over again. That part's usually a lot easier. I don't know why I'm struggling so much. I'm coming here. Hit the switch. That will lower an astral cacodemon in there that I honestly forgot about. It's probably not a monster you want to forget about. And we can come up here. Put two arachnotrons down there. There's an Annihilator in here, and I don't know how I want to take him because I really want to save my Plasma. We were given a Megasphere after this, so fuck it. I don't exactly... Never mind. He comes from there. Oh God. My piss-poor aim. I have to blame for that one. Cacodemon, and then some allies. I don't really think we need shotgun shells for the next part, so we can kind of be careless with that. Got remnants around here. They're pretty easy to kill, though. There's only three of them. had cells up here we could have afforded to use one BFG blast that would have saved us a little bit of time that's right and then um what we can do is if we hit this switch I'm missing a fucking monster god damn it guarantee it's a lost soul in the starting room the reason I know that is because we have um 1176 out of 1378 we're gonna be missing one monster there should be 201 remaining, and thank you, Admiral, for giving me that number, because it definitely gave me some peace of mind in my practice run that I did and got 100% kills. Um, either that, or I may have forgotten an imp somewhere on the cliff. It 
Doesn't seem like it, though. <laughs> Where was he shooting me from? Oh, he's all the way down there. That's what happens when I panic and I have to deal with former captains. Alright, now let's see if I can do this without taking any damage. So good. So much for beating Admiral's time. I forgot we're giving a mega sphere there. Okay. We straight front across. We can drop down in here. And this is going to be the final encounter. I'm going to be doing a fuck ton of saving here. How many arch valves are in there? Is that four? Okay, so that's not as bad. I thought there was like seven of them in there. Okay. We are going to start off by first saving our game. Because I am a huge vagina. And uh, we'll hit the switch. And let's try to take out one Mancubus. That asshole, dude. There's not a lot of health in this area either. It's just, your cells are so important. But so is your health. Oh man. Where the hell did you come from? Oh, did he just get rezzed from the vial? I think he did. Okay. Um, next part we have Hell Knights. This part I might want to just like run around and then try to get a good BFG blast in. If I get stuck. Or if I can group them. That hurts so fucking bad. Dude, I'm dead as shit. I'm not beating this in one try. I'm trying- I'm worrying too much about my ammo consumption, and honestly, it's fucking me up. I think I'm overthinking this area so much. Alright, this is going to be fun with no health and armor. I'm wondering if I should just start over now. I don't think I'm gonna have a choice. I'm gonna have to pick up that soul sphere. I'm not gonna get much use out of it, but I was risking suicide right there. <sighs> okay. see if I can do this without saving. No, I'm not going to do it without saving. Fuck that. I'm not redoing that part. But let's see if I can do it with 120 and 168. We're going to hit the switch, immediately fire some BFG blasts in here. That was an accident. Good thing I saved. 
<laughs> okay. Hit the switch, immediately fire two BFG blasts here. We have two Cyber Demons now. And Archvile that has not died yet. But luckily he's not pissed at me. <laughs> He's resing a bunch of shit. Yeah, I had to do that. You know I had to do it to him. Oh, no! I miscounted his rockets so bad. All right, you know what? God, he is one angry cyber demon. And he did not want to die either. That's why it's very important to save your BFG here. We also have some other monsters coming to visit very soon. I really like this final area though. I think it's like a really good way to end the map. Yeah, and then we have Annihilators. We actually have two of them. The only reason why they feel like they're more I feel like they're more of a threat than the cyber demons is because of their hit skin. Did only one show up? I only heard one growl. Maybe he showed up early. Oh, maybe I did kill him cuz that is everything in the map. Let's leave! <laughs> Holy shit! We beat Anagnorosis! I'm not gonna say I beat Admiral's time in this, because Admiral beat this map in one shot without saving, so that was impressive, but... Anyway, that was Anagnorosis. I feel like I need to actually rate this map as I would rate a normal WAD, just due to the time it takes to complete it. And overall, I'm giving this map a 9.5 out of 10, curving more towards the 10 out of 10 range. Literally the only thing I would change about this map is the ledge running and the pillar jumping. Everything else is so perfect, and overall playing this map was an absolute joy. First thing I want to praise is the navigation. The map has so much quality of life to it, so backtracking never really seems too tedious, and you can always sort of get where you want to go relatively quickly. I really like how the map's areas are color-coded. It helped me a lot when trying to remember where to go, and it helped jog my memory when playing through it each time. This is a super underappreciated detail that I think makes the map a lot less intimidating. I often compare it to Community Chest's Map 29 due to its size and time it takes to complete it, but that map was so much more difficult to get around because memorizing everything was damn near impossible. The quality of life was non-existent, and I would never play through that map myself. However, this map reflected the complete opposite. Yukiro really outdid himself with this entire project, and I know it seems like I've really been sucking him off through these last few videos, but you can't blame me. The map is just so damn amazing, and the guy is a phenomenal artist. And I'm not even just saying with his textures that he made himself, but just designing such insanely complex architecture while keeping everything playable without getting bored or feeling like that there's unnecessary backtracking. There are two invulnerability artifacts in this map that I think are just super awkward. They're positioned so out of the way, and because the map is so large, they're really inefficient to grab. And I can't think of any great uses for them, other than if you're speedrunning the map, it might help make your run a little bit quicker, but it's definitely possible to beat the entire map without grabbing either of them, even though that Lost Soul army in the pink room felt a little bit nuts. But anyway, Yukiro did a great job with this map, and I don't really have any more criticism to give him for this. I just really hope to see more of his projects in the future, and Yukiro, I don't know if you're watching this, but if you are going to work in game design at all, this level would look incredible on a resume. Also to my viewers, just a heads up, I'll be out of town next week, so my uploads will be a bit delayed before I get onto map 16. Uh, please just stay tuned though, and keep in touch in the Discord in the meantime. I'll be sure to check my phone while I'm out of town. And um, thanks for watching everyone. Take care, and I'll see you next time at map 16, Neutralize.